Okay, so now that we know how to get p-value, we know how to get standard error, we're going to do a hypothesis testing. So at the start of overtime in a National Football League game, coin, flip is, coin is flipped to determine which team will kick off and which will receive. The question of interest is how much advantage, if any, is given to the team that wins the coin flip at the start of the sudden death overtime period. The overtime games played between 1974 and 2009, the winner of the coin flip won the game in 240 of the 428 games, in which a winner was determined in overtime. Assume that the overtime games played during this time period can be viewed as a sample of all possible NFL overtime games. Do the data provide sufficient evidence to conclude that the team winning the coin flip has an advantage in overtime games, and then show all details. Well, first thing is conditions. So n times p and n times 1 minus p need to be greater than or equal to 10. So 240 is greater than or equal to 10, and 420 minus 240, or 188, is greater than or equal to 10. So conditions are met to use a normal distribution. Our null hypothesis would be that P equals 0.5. Alternative is P is greater than 0.5. And we use 0.5 because if there's no advantage, you would expect each team to win about 50% of the time. Now P represents the proportion of times the team winning coin flip wins the game. Step two is the test statistic, which is a Z, which is a statistic minus the null over the standard error. Well, in this case, the statistic is 240 over 428. Which is 0.5 six one. So you have zero point five six one minus zero point five zero over the standard error is the P times 1 minus p over the sample size, because in this case we do have a possible population proportion. This gives us 0 0.061 over 0 0.5 times 1 minus 0 0.5 divided by 428 and then the square root of that number is 0 0.024. 
So then we have 0 0.061 divided by 0 0.024, which is 2.542. So now we find the p-value, we look, HJ has a greater than, so it's a right tail, so that means we have normal CDF, and as a right tail, 2.542 is our lower limit. And 999 is our upper limit. So second VARS, not that one. Second VARS, number 2. 2.542 is our lower limit. 999, upper limit. And we get 0 0.005. So our fourth step, since p-value is less than The typical significance levels of 0 0.05 and 0 0.01. I'm not saying it's less than all reasonable. Because every once in a while, we might have a 0 0.005 as a significance level. But it's less than the typical significance levels of 0 0.05 and 0 0.01. So we reject the null hypothesis. And conclude, now this is where we go back to the statement of the problem that says, do the data provide sufficient evidence to conclude that the team winning the coin flip has an advantage in overtime games? So here we conclude that there is sufficient evidence To conclude that the team winning the coin flip has an advantage. in overtime games. So our conclusion comes straight from the problem.